What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today is a video that's been a long time coming. It is Theory is Dead, Fire on the Mountain. We'll look at three ways to play the chord progression, the scales needed to dominate this song, as well as a very Garcia-type ending to wrap the song up. Let's go. All right, so before we start the video, take a screenshot, take notes, pull out your Qtron, these are my settings that are being used today. Pretty simple, nothing crazy. Uh, the rig is my Les Paul into the Qtron through my pedal board, but nothing is on, into my Hard Deluxe, which is going into UA Aux, which is going into Luna. So here is my clean tone on the bridge pickup. <laughs> Right now, we'll engage the Qtron. And now the fun starts. So that's the Qtron settings. Let's dive into the lesson. All righty. Finally, theory is dead, fire in the mountain. It's taken forever, I think because before my Qtron was broken, but now thankfully I have the Qtron Plus and hallelujah. <laughs> but for today's video, we'll have it turned off because hearing this for I don't know how long. To be distracting and not really an appropriate tone for practicing, right? As opposed to a clean tone. Right, clean tone always best in practicing. A bit of reverb from um, the UA Aux Box plugin as well. Um, so for this video, we'll look at in three sections. The first part is all about triads. Where on the neck can you play this progression, this B, A, E? We'll also identify two positions where one works best for the verses, the other works best for the choruses. Next up, we'll look at the scales, right? This song is a B mixolydian scale because it has the one chord being B major, flat seven, A major, four chord, E major. So we'll look at a couple areas on the fretboard where you can solo. 
And then finally, we'll look at a very classic Garcia closing lick that can tie the full solos all together as well as introduce the maybe the coda or the reannouncing of the Scarlet transition into fire, right? So you can end the song on a big B chord. So that's the video. Let's jump into it. So the chords for the song are B, A, E. One, flat seven, four, mixolydian. So first up, we'll look at where on the neck can we play this progression? Well, first off, we can play our B right here. Fourth fret of the D, G, B string. We have our fifth degree, root, third. Right? Come down one whole step to the second fret. We have our A chord. Our fifth degree, root, third. Then we have our E major chord. Now I'm only playing the E and the G sharp and open B string as opposed to having the B right there. Right? That's more of a, a how do you say, a basic way you can play this progression. Next up, we can play it right here. which is the position that, in my opinion, works best for the chorus. So we have this B chord. As you know, root B, third D sharp, fifth degree F sharp, root B again. Descend one whole half step. Here's your A. A, C sharp, E, A. And now your E major. Here's your G sharp, B, A, and octave G sharp. Now, why this positioning works best for the chorus is because you can get sort of the keyboard sound. Right, this slide, which is just B, B flat to B, E triad, ninth fret of the D, G, B string, back to the B, descend chromatically to the A major, and then you have your E chord. Right? With the Qtron, that sounds like this. Right? Really big sounding. And with the chorus, that'll fit perfectly. Last position we can think of this progression is really where Mayer, if you watch Dead and Company play these this song, is where he lives for the verses, right? Right there. B. A, E major. Again, triads are the key to life. Root, third, fifth is all you need, right? So we have, we have our fifth degree, 11th fret of the G string, root, 12th fret B string, third degree, 11th fret high E string. Right? 
That's our B major. Now let's take our A, which is just descending that same exact chord shape one whole step. So we have our E, our fifth degree on the ninth fret of the G string, root, 10th fret of the B string, third degree, ninth fret of the high E string. And there's our A. Now our E chord comes from this fingering of E, would just be our G sharp, sorry, our E would be the ninth fret of the G string. Our G sharp will be ninth fret of the B string, that's our third degree, and our fifth degree B will be seventh fret of the high E string. With Qtron, Go to the chorus. And you could also arpeggiate those voicings as well. Right? So that's the same progression, three different areas. Right? Again, triads are the key to life, right? Know where your triads are and you could dominate the world. So next up, let's take a look at this B Mixolydian scale. Again, a couple places where you can check it out. So we'll start off here, seventh fret of the low E string with our pinky finger. C sharp being fourth fret A string. D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, our flat seventh degree, seventh fret of the D string, and our octave B. Right? So you can play that scale over this progression. Right? Key notes being the third, this D sharp, indicates the B. When you go to the A, you can really hit that A. F sharp, G sharp, A. Right, and indicate that D sharp to go back to that B. Indicate that A to hit that A. And again, 
since we modified that B major scale to now be a B mixolydian scale, it works over the B, the A, and the E progression. Right? You can move up the neck, up the scale. Or come lower frequencies. Right? Which leads us to our second position. Same starting point, this set this B on the seventh fret of the low E string, but now we'll approach it with our middle finger, right? We'll do two octaves. Now you know those two positions. The fun part is combining the two, right? Start first with one position, right? This. Say as much as you can in one fingering, right? Next. Slowly expand your vocabulary, right? Introduce chromatics, right? Dynamics with the solo, because you can come from here, fourth fret of the G string B, come down frequency wise, or go up. By playing the same scale. Dynamics, start low, go high, or vice versa, right? Create a story when you're looking at these soloing ideas. Second positioning would be up here. Root B on the 14th fret of the A string with our pinky finger. actually zoom in a little bit so here we are all zoomed in right there's that B triad B's everywhere. So we can do, for example, the same exact changes here. Root B can be 12th fret of the B string. Our A can be 14th fret of the G string, right? So now, knowing this B mixed Lydian scale, what could we say that outlines these changes? Something like,
And at that point, if we want to get higher, we're just playing the octave. B up here on the, that would be the uh, 16th fret of the D, G, and B string. Right? So exact same thing that we played here on the fourth fret. Right? The next step in your practicing is how can I look at Fire in the Mountain and realize I may have three solos in the song. How can I make a solo every single time that builds up? Right? The first solo can be pretty low. Second solo can be lower, and then you start to creep higher up the neck. Right? Third solo can be just climbing up all the way super high and you're soloing up here rock star status, right? So now, the third part, which is a lick that's very Garcia, played live and it sort of turns the whole song around and brings it back home, right? And the lick is... Right, B mixolydian scale, but descending, it hits that A sharp, which is pretty cool. So the first part of it is B, A sharp, and you're descending the scale. Then you hit that A natural, on the 19th fret of the D string, right here. So you're descending a B major scale, but the last note you hit is that A natural. Then you jump the octave up, A natural, 17th fret of the high E string, Descent to G sharp. Right? Now the climb up. E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B. So on the B string, that would be 17, 19, high E string. 16, 17, 19. All together. Add the Qtron. Then at that point, you can descend all the way back to this B major shape and do the outro of Scarlet. And that is Theory is Dead, Fire on the Mountain. Well, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Theory is Dead, Fire on the Mountain. Incredible song, incredible jam. 
I think all the factors add up to make one amazing moment in Grateful Dead world. <laughs> um, so that is today's video. If you liked it, please press like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.